<laughs> okay, so our first word is kakimawasu. And this is like to mix something. Kakimawasu. So mawasu comes from turning something around. So kakimawasu to mix. Mix. You know what gomi is? Trash. Yep. Um, can you read the sentence for me? Kaze wa gomi o kakimawashita. The wind Toro mixes the trashes. Perf. The wind mixes the trash. Do you happen to know what this kanji is? To blow. Yep. To Which is good. Good height. To blow. Can you read this for me? Kaze wa ui ta. What does this mean? In the wind blew. Perfect. Can you read this for me? Uki nugeru. Hi. Fuki nukiru is to blow through something. So fuku became fuki and then nukiru to go through. Can you read this for me? Kaze wa tori o fuki nugeta. The wind blow through the streets. Perfect. Can you read this for me? Kubi suji. Perfect. So kubi is neck and suji is a line. So a line of the neck is the nape of the neck. So that's like the back of your neck, basically. Kubi suji. Suji. Hi. Hi. Can you read this for me? Iri komu. Hi. It can be iri komu or it can be hairi komu. Um, both can be read from that. And it basically means to be put into something. Iri komu. To go inside, kind of. Can you read this for me? Kubi suji. Suji. Hi. Kubi suji. Perfect. And what did kubi suji mean? The nape of the neck. Perfect. Can you read this for me? Sha su no kubi suji kara kaze wa hairi konda. Hey. You could do iri if you want to. Both of them, the meaning doesn't change depending on which one you read. Both of them just exist in the dictionary. Um, so whichever you prefer. Hairi is a little bit easier if you want to try writing it. So if I write um, um, iri komu. Oh, hi, Komu. It, it doesn't really matter. Hi. The, the wind enters the nape of the neck. Uh, no, Kara is from. So the wind, why is it from? Well, the, things can be dropped the shirt. is why. Yes. So it means the from the nape of the shirt. So that is the entrance right here. So the, so the wind is blowing into a location, which is probably into the shirt, right? So from the shirt, it's blowing into a location. So in other words, it's going into the shirt. So if you have a shirt with like a loose top, for example, it's go draw this shirt. Really ugly face. Okay. <laughs> So the wind um goes kind of like if you got like an ice kata. cube and put it down someone's thing. So kata is from. So in this case, it's the entrance. It begins, the wind begins to irikomu, starting from this location. Because um hairikomu is to go inside. So you can't really be going inside over here. There's nothing to go inside to. So it's not really going inside until it's like kind of going into the shirt so the wind goes into the shirt from this entrance rather than coming into the shirt from perhaps the bottom specifically it's coming in from the top um can you read this I for me understand. oops 
海水溝はい。海水溝 is the sewage or sewers. 海水溝 Can you read this for me? 浮き抜けてた風は海水溝のゴミをかき回した。はい。The wind that blow through mixes the trash of the, the sewage. Perfect. Okay, so let's go read the line from the book. すきぬげるかぜがふきぬげるかぜがはいすいこうのゴミをかきまわしおれのさつのくびすじからつめたいゆびのようにいりこんでくる。The wind that blowing through or will, will blow through. Kind of like habitually, I would say. Yes. That blows through in general. That blows through mixes the trash of the sewage. I don't want to say like with、yeah. in this context, like it is mixing the trash of the sewage, but kind of like for illustrating this. What does it do?、Oh, I, I would kind of say with as a translation here, because even though it is like mixing the garbage, this is like contextually, it's kind of like mixes with the trash. Mix with the trash. It wasn't mixing the trash. I well, see. It, it is mixing it, but it's, it kind of has like a. A little bit. Hi. Hi. So it, it, fly, it flew, it flies in and it mixes itself with the trash. And, ore no shatsu no kubi suji kara, from the entrance of the nape of my neck, of the nape of the neck of the shirt. Sumetai yubi no yu yo ni. Like a cold thing, like cold fingers, it goes in、yep. towards me. Yep, it goes in towards me from the nape of my shirt.、Yeah. Spins around I, in that garbage, mixing it.、Um, I just feel like it flows better in English to say with it than to saying it mixes the trash and then it does this. this. I don't know, in English it sounds like a little bit odd.、Um, Even though that is what it's happening. Okay, kanji check from last week. Remember this guy? It's got hard for him.、Hmm. Okay.、Um, ba. It does end with ba. ba. Sakaba. Yep, sakaba. What is a sakaba? A drinking place,、Perfect. a bar.、Uh, what's this guy? Kaidan. Perfect. And this guy? Yori kakate? Yep, it is. Yori kakate, which is to lean on something. Perfect. Cool. So we've seen this word a lot.、Um, not as of late, but in our earlier chapters. This word starts with ishi, and it means cobblestone. Do you know how to pronounce this? Ishi da ma. Close. It's ta da mi. Ishi da da mi. Ta da mi. Ta da mi. Hi.、Um, can you read this sentence for me? Ishi ta da mi no michi o hadashi de. Um, um, hi. Um, um,、yep. to you got that knee 
to step down. Uh, in this case, that that'd be oridu. Oridu would be the step down, but that would be ori, um, orita, right? Fall, fall down. So, so it'd be conjugated differently. Same kanji, but or, slightly different conjugation here. Orita. Ori. This is fu so it's... again. So we got futa and fumu. What's with the fu? So the root, the root form of that was fu, right? Is it Fudu? to fall down? Uh, you mean oridu? Ochidu? What are you talking the, about? I, I mean the rain that fall down. Hi hi. That's the rain fudu. that fall down. The furu. So it conjugated to futa. Hi. This is R plus u. Okay. Futa ame no se de suberi yasu kata. Okay, from the beginning, it said the street uh, of the cobblestone streets. Hi. Uh, when I w when stepped on. In what kind of way? And I forgot. Hadashi de. Well, de. I forgot this. De isn't in here. It's hadashi. De is a particle for tools. So they step so, onto the um top the the cobbled street using their hadashi. Um what is the hadashi? Hadashi is barefoot. Comes from hada, which is naked, and then apparently ashi just turned into she. Hadashi. Hi. Easier for head kanji. Yes, I've gotten this one. So with barefoot, step on, yukata ni, the evening, futa ama ame no seide, because of the evening rain that had fallen. Suberi yatsu kata, it was slippery. Yes. Perfect. Yep. So basically, when I step onto the um, cobblestone path barefoot, I basically I realize this information because toll can be used with realizations that this p p this path was very easy to slip on because of the rain that had fallen this evening. Okay, so now we actually have the line from the book had some reused vocabulary here. Hi. Hadashi de fumu ishi tadami wa sui no mizu no yo. Close. So sui and mizu look a lot like that, but they don't have that little check mark right there. So rather than water, this is actually ice. O kori? Close. It is kori. So no o in front of it. That's Kori. Kori. Hi. So, from the beginning, I step barefooted onto the cobblestone. Haven't done that. Kori no yo. Ah, the cobblestone that I've stepped on barefooted was similar to ice perfect or was like perfect. ice yep nice or felt felt like it ice felt like ice. Been it was better... like ice yes true true um our next word dakishimeru is to hug or collect something this is a do verb dakishimeru so now your job is to remember how to read how this is read how do you read this dakishimeru yep dakishimeru to clutch to hug can you read this for me? Clutch, hug, hi. Um, higure, higure, no, higure no kimi wa dorobo o niki, no, higi. This was the da. Daki shimeta. Hi. Um, 
the Lord of Twilight hugs or embrace the thief. Hi, perfect. Okay, next is atatamaru. Atatamaru is to warm something up, to warm up. And this is not a do verb, it is an u verb. So R plus u. So atatamaru is the same atata, like atatakai, but it has different kanji here because they're talking about the warming the temperature of like a like something versus atatakai is like temperature. One of those I... like same kanji, similar word type of thing. Atatamaru. Um, do you know what this means? Masumitai. Hmm. What is? Do you know what tai adds to yeah. stuff? Tai is wanting. Yes. To see me. To steal. Wanting exactly. to steal something. Perfect. So as a little reminder, we take the stem form, which is adding e to u verbs or dropping the do. So nusumu ends with mu and it turned into me. Both with m. Okay. Let's go read this line real fast. Oh, this is the u verb right. apparently. Atatamata. Hug and make warm. Exactly. Atem Hug I and make to have warm made by hugging. Basically. Yep. Okay. So atatamaru, which is an u verb, how do you put it into want form? Atatamitai. Hmm. That's not a possible conjugation. So the way it works is that okay. you may add e to the end of it, or you may drop do. Those are your two choices. You can't do both. Ah, uh, ta ta ma tai. That's a good guess. That is a theoretical po possible way to conjugate if this was a do verb. Sadly, atata maru, as we saw in the previous example sentence, ends with matte, which tells us right here that this is actually do plus u. And not do. So it's an u verb. Atatamatta. So One because try, of that, it's di. Atatamari <laughs> tai. Atatamari tai. Hi. Hi. Okay. So um, right here, this right here, tai, is ending with kute. This is the te form. Of e adds it to anything that ends with e turns into kutte when you're conjuring it into te form. Sometimes the te will be dropped in certain contexts, um, but that's it's te form basically, just like we saw earlier with other verbs. Um, can you read this? Got some old kanji here. Shkoshi, shkoshi de mo atatamari takte ryo. Ude. De. Ki. De. Ki. To. Karada o. Daki shimate. Shimata. Shimeta. Perfect. So this guy right here, it's very hard to tell. But these are actually both short. So it's actually you. Like you. So gyu is literally the sound effect of hugging somebody. Um, ah. it's, a, it's, a, it's the squeezing you, sound you effect. To. You to. Kind of like what your chest does when you say gyu. Okay, do you know what this I... demo is doing right here? Skoshi demo. Not sure if I've taught you demo yet. Only a little bit? Close. It's very similar to only. It is even. So demo. it's basically, even if it's only a little bit, is kind of what it would mean in this context. So only would be fine to translate here. Um, It, it kind of has like an even ah. if kind of way. So only does work well in this context. So feel free to use only Hi. for this sentence. So, so what's this our first demo had This demo had a contrasting feeling to it. Kind this of. Contrast, the thing that follows it. Kind of. It's a right. little bit different e than like no knee, for example, which is even though that's very contrastive. Demo is more about showing an example of sound something. 
is tends to be with the feeling of it. So it's kind of like, I would love you even if you were a killer. If you wanted to say that sentence in Japanese, you would use demo, like, Koroshi ai demo, Kimi ga aishiteru, or something like that. So it does have a so... little bit of a contraction, but it's more like, even if this occurred, I would still blah, blah, blah. So in here, it's, I am trying, I want this, even if it's only a little bit is what is being used rather I than being a real see. like opposite thing so I kind of more God. like weird in english how our even if can have both meanings but not really in japanese so no need is very contrastive even though that happened this didn't happen something like that all right so let me let me try it from the beginning so it's he, he's saying sikoshi demo atatama um tatamari dakte i want to be warm even just a little perfect yep ryu ryote ryu ude ryo ude ryo ude ryo 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 ude with both arms Gyuto, gyuto. <laughs> Karada o daki shimeta. Shimeta was um. Why is it shimeta? Was this? Is it, there something it's a, it's a, it's a compound just... verb, but you, we didn't teach you um daku. So I just told you daki shimeru is the hug. Um, it's kind of like a um. Like a strangling kind of hug. <laughs> That's what shimeru means, but it's not it's not actually negative here. Um it just means like the hug something tight or closely, like a close I... hug. So you can't use daki shimeru if you're doing like an air hug. That doesn't make any sense. You have to like squeeze with a gyu kind of way in order to do daki shimeru. So if there's no squeezing, you can't use that. Um the daku could be like hugging just in general so maybe like you're just like holding like your dog in your arms you probably shouldn't be squeezing your dog might bite you um because they don't want to be too restricted but it's totally fine to hug your dog in most occasions so don't daki shimeru your dogs but totally fine to daku your hugs your dogs got it hi <laughs> okay so, yep, so with both hands, they hug a body. So, contextually, the main character is hugging their own body. So, that's when you're using your hands and you're like shivering. So, you clutch your arms, you know, you cross your arms and you kind of give yourself a hug. That That's what's um, being described <laughs> here because they're cold. It's like, I'm cold. I um, see. It, it's a little bit contextual because it's kind of weird to just say body without saying whose body it is unless it's your body. So it's a little bit weird to I say because I'm talking. So obviously it's my body and not someone else's. Um, otherwise you'd insinuate <laughs> some other topic to be that person's body. So most likely I the see. karada and the ryote both belong to the same person because they're not being specified as not belonging to somebody. So, so it's the same as is the same as saying namai well, people don't say orino namai wa Yeah. Right? You don't really they say, just say no, namai no, wa. So, so. <laughs> you really only mm -hmm. use like those the uh, I in Japanese if you want to make sure people are not being confused. So here we've been the main character's been talking, you know, in the first person for a little bit. So he said, uh, uh I'm cold, blah 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 blah. So we kind of know we're already talking about him he, from his point of view. We have not re talked about nobody. Okay. Hi. Oh, cool. Okay. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Next slide. Yay! And the paragraph. <laughs> <laughs> cool, cool. Okay. Do you happen to recognize this verb? My hint is it is not hakobu, which you have learned. Um, cool. Cool. Yep. Tsuredu. Yep. So that's like come with somebody. Tsuredu. Hi, perfect. Do you know what shibarakushite means? Shibaraku. That sounds familiar. Shibaraku. 
It is a really Shuta. common phrase in Japanese, but I do believe it's Shuta. our first time seeing it in this book. So that's just if you happen to know it. It is a kind of time phrase. It had a familiar feel, but I mm -hmm. don't remember what it means. It basically means after a while. So some time has passed. It kind of insinuates as well that you kind of sat put while you were waiting. So this is kind of like after a while of waiting tends to be when shibaraku tends to be used versus like just matte or something like that. It's a way to kind of combine waiting and the time period together. After a while waiting. Right. You know what hitori means? Hitori, by oneself. Perfect. Or one person. Yep, it means one person or by oneself. Both of those work great depending on the context. Recognize this guy again? Tsuriru. Perfect. Okay, so let's go read the line from the book. Shibarak, shibaraku ste, neburi ga sakaba kara otoko o hitori tsurete dette kita. Hi. Kita is kuru to come. For so, the main character. After a after waiting a while, Neburi he come back out from the bar um following another person another man. Basically, so to the day is not necessarily to follow. It's more like to take with. So, otte, um, we, we've seen that, like, um, oi kakaru, I believe, is what we saw in this book. Oi kakaru. This was to chase after and catch up somebody using um, o for chase. Tureru is to go with or to accompany somebody. But it kind of has this anyway that nobody has somebody accompanying with them so this person is not necessarily in front of him they could be behind him the most likely like at the same ish so if nobody's here this person could be right next to him and that that'd be normal um in this kind of context so nobody went out with one other person is what it's saying i see so, not really following but just coming with do you happen to know this kanji Hoi. Yeah, uh, futoi, which is futoi. why did I write that? Uh, is is fat. Okay, so fat. yagamu is um warped. Warp. So you might like say it's like a crooked, perhaps any kind of like yeah. oddness. So this isn't necessarily like a mad face or something like that in the context. It, it kind of means like um. Perhaps like it has like a crooked nose. His, his face looks weird. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yagam. Yagam twerp. Okay. I see. Can you read this for me? Futoi otoko no kao ga yugande ita from yugamu. So you got yep. the ita is crook it's um how do I say it? The jiron of the ing of crookeding. Crookedting. <laughs> it just is. So iru and it ita was crooked. Yeah. It it just means the state is 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 current, basically. So if this is a yukanda, it kind of insinuates maybe it's not crooked anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I know it was like Wait, maybe he got his nose. The, this is in the past form. This ita, it's in the past form, yes, isn't it? It is was. It so was he crooked. was crooked. So this this is just because in English we like past tense, so that's why I wrote that sentence. Talking about a in a book. What so was crooked? Is it saying the man's the fat man face is crooked, but Perfect. he is his it is crooked and still crooked, right? It's not it hasn't changed. The right? the the point of the story is that we're just talking about event in the past. Whether or not it's still crooked or not isn't necessarily matter. It just kind of means um his face at some point in time was 
crooked and at least like we're talking about like a, a situation in the story so during the time in which we're talking about in that past tense time his face is still crooked in that specific time period if he said um you can da that would kind of mean his face was crooked but maybe in that specific time period you're talking about he's no longer crooked <laughs> but it was crooked perhaps in the past kind of insinuating it ing and not having ing is very weird and i'm not really like an expert to when you use one or the other a lot of times it it's really just like context based than anything else so you'll see like both to express very similar ideas but this is just it was crooked it was in the state of being in crookedness for this sentence um do you know what nagure means Naguru, nagu, nagu, nage. To throw something? Close. Naguru is to punch. It it does Naguru show up punch. in a word that does mean to throw, like in a compound word, but I don't remember what it is. Um, It can mean to throw something at a person with na nage tukeru. Um, oh so it's to throw a punch to throw your fist at somebody is a punch yeah. basically because in martial art when they say like um like nage like um yeah nage do is to <laughs> throw forgot. there's so many nage there's so many nage every time it's a oh. nage is a throw so, so nage do is to throw a punch <sighs> and nage do with again there is to throw an object so super similar okay can you read this sentence for me Hi. Satsu. No, 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 no. Son, son. Close. This is actually the two. Tun, tun. Tun, tun. Tun, Ni. Hatte. Iru. Kami. The hair that stand up. Yep. Real like spike like. This. Spiky tun, hair. <laughs> and then my protagonist hair. <laughs> okay. So Goku. we just thought. I... <laughs> Naguru earlier. You can add I to verbs to mean like a mutual action. So it means normally there are two people doing something to each other is what happens when we use I with the stem form of a verb. So naguri I it means to be in a fight. Because it's not just I punch somebody, someone also punches me. Um I, so naguri I. I to have been in a fist fight. To to ex to exchange fists. Exactly. That's, ex that's to a meet literal fists. To exchange fists. Fists to have meet... been met. Yes. So, yeah. You will see this I and ao verb a lot with, um, not necessarily in this book, but just like in general to mean. This um, action occurred by both participating parties. Um, hade is like showy kind of. Um, it's It's it has like a little bit different, I would say, if you're translating in English, but I'm not exactly sure what to be the correct mean. It's kind of like obvious, maybe. Kind of very blatant, Showy, maybe. Blatant might be like you in mean the context. flamboyant? <laughs> not necessarily. It, it just means like it can be definitely flamboyant, uh, but it doesn't have to be. It just means like what you're looking at is very like obvious, basically. Um, in a lot of contexts, it means sh like showy or flamboyant, like you said, but it doesn't mean flamboyant in the next context we're going to see it. It's more just like blatantly. It's like, like you look at him and you're like, hmm, that definitely happened. Uh, can you read this for me? I... It's evident. It's clearly that he been in a fight. Exactly. That that's basically what it is illustrating here. Rather saying, or he was in like a very like bad fight, perhaps being used to describe the kind of fight he was in. But like showy fight doesn't really um illustrate the right kind of um feeling for this. Um okay, can you read this for me? Kubiga futoi otoko wa sakaba kara deta. The neck.
Utoy Otoko wa. The fat man. Kind of. In this case, since we have this ga right here, we can kind of assume that this is a sentence. And this is actually a relative clause. Maybe I have a no here. Do we know Futoi Otoko? The so man. It, actually means... it means the man with the fat neck. Exactly. Come out of the bar. So, so. Perfect. Okay, so mitai is used in Japanese to mean it looks like. Making some I... kind of guess. Okay, so let's go read this sentence. Hi. Yo jimbo wa nakri ai de. Is it de or demo? Demo. Demo. Nakri ai demo. Hi. So theoretically, so you could just have an O here. Is... Demo's not really adding, I would say, a lot of meaning as far as like an English translation goes. It's it's basically saying it seems like he even had done this before. It's kind of like how you directly translate that, but it sounds a little odd in English. Um, but this is basically saying so he's done something, he's shitad, perhaps to the extent of being in a naguriai. It looks like. It it looks the the um, the bodyguard seems. It seems that the bodyguard had been in a fight. Yes, and literally, it's like it seems that he's even been inside of a fight. Would be like a doing the even in there. But as I said, kind of hard to say that in English. It sounds a little off. Uh, but basically, demo is used right. in Japanese to kind of be like, wow, look at this nagori eye he's been in. <laughs> Just like, like earlier, it's like, even if you yeah. killed somebody, demo is a little bit like dramatic for a way to describe what something does or looked like. So really I can a... say something like, I can say something like, for example, I suppose I don't like pizza, hi, hi. but I'm so hungry. I can say, even if it's pizza, I yes. would still want to eat it. I would still want to tap it. Yes, <laughs> you, you could use that. That that definitely would be something you'd use. Like, I think in English, we'd say, like, the horse. So, like, uma demo taberareru could be, I could even eat a horse. That That is exactly <laughs> how that demo would be used. Yeah, so, pizza demo taberareru. Could even eat pizza. So, contextually, people would be like, are you sure that's what you want to say? <laughs> But, but grammatically, right. yes, that'd be totally correct. Okay, so let's go read this line from the book. Sega taku. Hi. Taku. Takaku. Kubi ga futoi. Takaku. Takaku. Hey. Kubi ga futoi otoko da. Kami wa sunsun ni tatte ite. Kami wa. Oh. Hade ni. I'm sorry. Kao. Hi. Kao wa. Hade ni. Nagri ai de mo. Shita mitai ni. Yugan de iru. Hi. This is describing how his face has been warped. How his face has become yukande. I see. So. The tall, the tall man. Hi. The tall, uh, the the man with a fat, the tall, the man that is tall with a fat neck. Hi. No, it's it that. No, that that is it. It was. It's like it was. Yeah, it is a man. It was. It is a man that is tall with a fat neck. Hi. Period. And now it describes his hair. Kamiwa sun sun. Ni tate ite. And he have he has um hair that's sticking out real pointy sun sun. And um 